mentioned earlier that I received a pretty direct negative piece of criticism on one of my earlier videos and that it had a kind of a positive impact in how I approached the content that I created. And I think there's probably an important lesson there around receiving criticism, its value, and so on. Now, obviously, there are some comments and criticisms you're gonna receive that are just vitriol. They're just meant to be mean-spirited and hurtful. It's the other person acting out their own internal frustrations or whatever the case may be. It has nothing, nothing at all to do with you. And that's one of the principles I've tried to live by with the Watch It Play channel. I don't take myself seriously, I take what I do seriously. So in other words, if someone wants to criticize me, any, any of the possible criticisms someone could have, I've already had them about myself. <laughs> I'm already aware of most of my failings and faults. I'm 43 years old. I've got a lot of problems and issues, I'm not perfect. And so someone who feels like they've really just stumbled on the thing that I, I don't know about myself already, um, yeah, no, I've already thought about it. Now, when it comes to criticism of the work, then I really wanna be listening. And the same is probably going to be true here in these videos, because I've never vlogged or done any kind of content like this before, and I'll probably receive some criticism along the way. If the criticism related to the work, I'll be interested to hear, I won't always listen to. That's another valuable lesson I think I learned. You can't chase criticisms. In other words, when someone says, hey, I don't like this about your videos, you should do it this other way, if you were to do that other way, then someone will come along and say, I don't like this new way you're doing it, you should do it the other way. And then when you change to do it that way, someone else will say, well, you shouldn't do it either of those ways, you should be doing it this way instead. You're never creating videos for just one person. No creation is just for one person. You ultimately have to make an assessment for yourself about what is best overall for hopefully the most people, which includes yourself. You have to create something that is actually fulfilling for yourself in the process as well, or you will absolutely burn out. You can probably see now why I got that initial criticism on my earlier videos, because uh, yeah, once I start talking about a concept or idea, I can, I can get going uh, and ramble on about it, which I think I've just been doing. So let's move on from this and uh, let's go open some boxes. My whole life I've been pretty certain that I did not want a cat. I just have never particularly liked cats. But I do kind of like this one. <laughs> Elvis, you're kind of adorable. Stop being so adorable, trying not to like cats, you little sweetheart. You're such a little purr monster, listen to you. No, 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 this is not gonna become the cat vlog. I can't, I can't be that person. Okay, I would like to be very clear about something here. This is not the normal amount of boxes I would get in the mail. I was away for a week, and so this is a, this is a buildup, and even this is more than usual. So we won't have this many to go through most times, but, but today we do. I'm not gonna unbox each of these individually in front of you. How boring would that be? I'm just gonna quickly pop out what's inside of each of them and show you. We'll just pick one, like this one, and then it'll be opened and unboxed. This is a book called Fun Home. I, I'm not sure who's, oh, I know who sent this to me. This is, I think, from my friend uh, Dave Finkel. We've been talking about graphic novels lately and some of our favorites. And he threatened me that he would send me, uh, I guess not really a threat, but this is the kind of threat you want to have. He would send me uh, one of his favorites. So I think this might be the one. Thank you, David, if this is from you. I'm really excited to dive into this. And I will pick out one for you and send it to you. This would be like a little fun comic book exchange. Cool. All right, next we've got, this is Millennium After the Millennium. This is a Blu-ray I'm super excited to receive. I, I bought this. Uh, because it's based on the television show Millennium by Chris Carter, who's probably more famously known for his TV series The X-Files, but Millennium is the show that I really fell in love with. It's starring Lance Henriksen. It, it's quite dark. I actually partnered with a guy named Brian A. Dixon, who had a zine for the show. This was basically like an email newsletter that we would send out. And I had a chance to interview different people involved with the series, writers, 
I believe a director at one point in time. It was just a really exciting time to be a fan of the show and be invested. <laughs> Elvis, watch yourself. To be invested in what was going on with the show and being involved in my own sort of little way. All right, so next we've got, oh, oh I'm excited about this. So this is a package from Strange Adventures. Strange Adventures comic book store. And they always write little silly, goofy nicknames for me. Rodney Smith, AKA The Closer. I will talk about Strange Adventures comic book store on this series at some point in the future, but just to not drag things out too long here, we'll open this instead. This is not a comic book. This is the Game Trade magazine, but I will always and forever order all of my comic books from Strange Adventures comic book store, which is actually located in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Totally different province, but I will only order comics from them. And again, the reason for that, I'll tell you in, in a later video. All right, next up, we've got a package here from Emily Detmer. And this is, I know, for Pep. So I can't open this one, even though I'm tempted to. Pep, this one's coming to you. Okay, next up, we've got a box that's coming from Neanderlees Spellin' Fabric. I have no idea what this is. All right, turns out there was a crisis inside the box. Two crises. Crises? Crises? Two cri- Anyway, two copies of Crisis. And it's one I'm gonna be doing a tutorial video for in the near future. There's two copies because the last time the publisher sent me a copy of the game, it got damaged. Looks like both of these are in good condition. So one of these I'll be able to give away as part of a contest, which is pretty cool. Now this next box, I realize I cannot open on screen because looking at who it's from, it's actually, uh, it's private. It's a, it's a gaming related thing, but I think it's like an early prototype. So this one I'm just gonna have to put away. This one, however, I can't open up and it's a pretty big awkwardly shaped box. So let's, let's see what it is. Hey look, it's Puckett. <laughs> What's Puckett you ask? It's the world's number one elasticated table game. You could probably also say the world's only elasticated table game. This is a, a wooden game where you have a series of discs and this elastic band. You're going to pull your discs back and try to flick it through this center opening here and you're trying to get all of your discs onto your opponent's side. I believe those are the rules. I think I've just done the tutorial right now. But anyway, this is one that will feature on Watch It Played. And finally, we have the final box and it's a big one. Let's take a look. Oh, this is very exciting. This is Fireball Island. I played an early prototype copy of this game, so I'm gonna be very excited to see what the final production looks like. And this is one that I will be doing a full tutorial video for on the Watch It Play channel, if you'd like to subscribe there and check it out. But that is all of the boxes. All right, except for the one for Pep. What are you doing in there, you little goofball? You delightful little goofball. No, 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 this is not gonna become a cat vlog. He's just so darn cute. I didn't know where I was. I didn't know where you were. So this oh, came from Emily. She, she, I, I don't know what it is. I had a whole bunch of boxes waiting for me at home and this was uh, one I was gonna open, but it said for Pep on it. Oh. Very disappointing for me. You're so delicate, I love it. I tried. I mean, you I don't know what's in there. It, it could be something It could be a giant precious. sheet of paper and That's I could've right. just ripped it in half. <laughs> oh my gosh, just $10 poster. No, I'm half hoping it is a sheet of paper. It's something soft. Okay. It's something to I know she's very crafty. Mm. I know she's very crafty, so I'm guessing it's a crafty. Oh it's my a goodness, it's a turtle, of course it is. I love it, it's like patchwork. <laughs> different uh, different oh, patches yeah, on the turtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see his little turtle head. <laughs> okay, well this is funny, because while I was away, I also got Pep something. Uh, it's a little smaller, but it's in the same family. <laughs> It's oh, a little, nice. it's a little turtle. Oh, it's a little head bobble. <laughs> it's a little head bobble turtle. <laughs> what? For people who might not know, Pep's a bit of a fan of turtles. We've got a few. A little bit. A few, a few turtles here. Turtle shrine over here. What is this? Even have that's, that's cat litter. 
You don't have a cat. No, it's not even cat litter. I took in a stray cat the other night, and I just kind of let it in and out because it's not used to it yet. But okay. so I, I don't know. I didn't have cat litter, so I just took some old gravel I had and threw it. Just stop. I said this was not going to be a cat vlog. Now even Pep <laughs> is trying to like convert this to a cat vlog. What? <laughs> Does the cat have a name yet? Have you named it? No, just cat one. <laughs> You're gonna take on more? Yeah, actually, we went for a walk last night and a second cat started following us, so I took that second cat home. Uh -oh. So it was just cat one and cat two. Uh -oh. oh, this is too much. Okay, okay, that's enough. Look, it's, it's wonderful to be back, Pep. Great to see you. Great I, to I've see gotta, you. I gotta run. <laughs> this can't be happening. This is nuts.